looking at root causes of what, what we're dealing with when we're dealing with something like fibromyalgia or chronic unexplained pain. So if you haven't checked it out, checked out our previous videos, please do so. I've covered a lot of information in the first stage of addressing fibromyalgia, and that included a lot of the major pains and problems that a lot of people come in with when they're dealing with fibromyalgia or chronic unexplained pain. So please check those out. Um, today, I'm going to get started on a, a really, really big topic. That's gut dysbiosis and the digestive system. Now, these really are a big one and, uh, and something that we have to address in virtually everybody that, that comes to see us. So let me just ask, have you ever experienced those pains that feel heavy or maybe swollen? Or maybe the pain seems to get a little bit worse with damp weather? Um, how about pains that are sometimes worse after eating or maybe you get all this exhaustion after eating, like you just have to lie down after you've had a meal? So these types of pains are really just a piece of the puzzle. What about the brain fog? What about the bloating and irritable bowel issues? How about night sweats or acne or skin problems? All of these things are influenced, at least partially influenced by our digestive health. What about the emotional issues though? There's depression, frustration, anxiety. These are very common with, with most chronic problems, but obviously very, very common in fibromyalgia. And these all fall into this stage, at least partly because the state of our health the state of the health of our digestive system, our digestive tract, has a massive impact on how we feel mentally and emotionally. And what's even more amazing is that the quality of our thoughts, indeed the very way that we think and perceive the world itself, is directly impacted by the state of our gut health. So those voices in your head are indeed real, at least in terms of the signaling pathways which are influenced by the health of our gut. So something to wrap your mind around, right? What about the immune system? like things like autoimmune disease or even allergies. Allergies are such a cr common thing this, these days. While we often cover these problems with our, the first stage, which I went into with the other videos, the gut also plays an instrumental part of this. This is why we have to look at these systems and why these systems have to blend together in order to have long-term success in, in addressing these conditions. So the big problem here now is that it seems like everybody and their brother seems to have a book or a blog or some kind of a program designed around some diet and most of these are fads, and in some cases, these diets actually make a person worse over time. Even though they may fight, might feel better for a few weeks, it seems like after a while, people just regress. Now, why is that? Because it's only looking at one piece. It's not taking a whole systems approach. It's looking at, okay, we just need to fix the diet. No, the diet is a big part, but it's not the only part. Now, on top of that, there are just thousands of supplements available, and these supplements are designed to restore the gut. But the big problem here is that most of them are a complete waste of time and money. And some may actually, again, make things worse over time. So we actually have people coming in and they'll have grocery bags full of the supplements that they consume every single day. And the big problem is that they will still have the health issues that these supplements are supposed to be treating. So why continue taking you know, these, these, these handfuls of supplements every single day? So what is the real answer here? What is the real solution? Well, it's not as simple as it just being one thing, but rather a combination of issues that need to be dealt with. We have to address the microbiome. That is the complement of bacteria and other microorganisms found living in our gut. But we also need to address the damage that's been done to the lining of the gut, which is an enormous issue as well. And this damage that's being caused to our microbiome, to the lining of the gut, is an active and ongoing problem, especially because of the drugs that, that, that are being prescribed and that people are taking on, on a regular basis. Plus, we need to begin thinking about emotional health. This is something that we cover in depth in stage three and I'll talk about uh, at a later time because our emotional health leads to increased digestive problems. When we have poor emotional health, it negatively affects our digestive system and increased digestive problems will in turn worsen emotional health. It becomes this terrible repeating downward cycle and it is one of the big issues that perpetuates and leads to flare-ups of fibromyalgia. Now, this is a lot of information to cover and I, and I want to get into each part pr appropriately. So in the following days, I'm going to break it down bit by bit. So again, please join me tomorrow. I'm going to continue diving into these issues. 